I'm going to do a quick uh, review of my garage that I refinished sometime this uh, this spring, maybe a, two, two months ago I think I finished it. Um, basically gutted it, uh, rehung all the cabinets, bought some new cabinets, bought a workbench, uh, reorganized, got rid of some stuff, and put all the stuff back. So here we go. Um, went with the Gladiator cabinets. Uh, I already had all these wall cabinets um, on the sides so I decided to uh, put those on the back wall after I repainted that wall refinished it um, the gladiator bench there that you see I uh, bought that new bought the two bench uh, cabinets under it um, pretty nice uh, Nice fold-out shelves. I don't really have much in there right now, which is kind of nice. Um, put some shelves up. Gladiator uh, shelf for all my radio, our Bluetooth speaker, keys, all these little bins. Have uh, all the stuff that I like to have access to um, and not dig for. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of Honda 50 uh, stuff around. Um, this is what I'm selling. Um, got three of them on the left wall over here. And uh, some organizers, some hangers. Um, clean that up so I can get two cars in this two car garage in the winter. got this rack up here uh, comes down. I used to have a pickup truck. And that's what I used to uh, use to get the cap off of it um, so I didn't have to struggle with getting the uh, fiberglass cap off by myself um, breaking my back. So this thing winds down and then uh, just cranks back up, lifts the cap off I uh, sold that truck though, so it's just sitting there right now. Put new lights in. Um, I had the one that you see right here, the bright one, but I hooked it up to the actual switch now. And um, basically I tapped off of the regular light, um, put in a new uh, plug uh, slash light fixture for that one, and then I just strung two LEDs with a... a uh, Plug, plug adapter there. Um, over on this uh, front, I bought the 60-inch Milwaukee cabinet, um, and I've got my t tools on there. Everything's organized. Really nice cabinets. It's got electric in it. Reorganized all my tools. Um, everything's not full yet, which is nice. Like I said this out of the way. Um, nice way to organize stuff. Get my wrenches and my metrics in there. My standards are in here. So I work on a lot of Honda mini bikes. Nice organization. Before I was just had a small one. This one I can actually put uh, drills and stuff in but I like those out too. Nice quiet close uh, drawers on these. It's got a electric plug over here on the side, which is nice. A little shelf. Um, I tried to get everything off the floor this time. And over here I got my powder coating oven that I do stuff like that with. Uh, it's a 68 Honda 50 that I'm restoring. There's the tank. A bunch of other random 50 parts, other parts, hundreds. Um, let's see. Those are two 36 inch Gladiator cabinets that I have uh, tools in. Um, 
bunch of random stuff. All my tools are put away. Got a, a generator in there. Just really nice to get everything tucked away before everything was kind of scattered all over the place. Um, these two over here, just uh, parts and other things. Put another shelf up there for a couple of things. Uh, my new compressor I bought. Um, in there, some powder coating supplies. Uh, bicycles. A few more bikes. I like bikes. Motorcycles. That's pretty much it. I got rid of a big 60 gallon compressor and uh, a um, sand or a blasting cabinet, um, which I kind of miss already. Um, but um, I really couldn't fit everything in here, so it's kind of a small two car garage. And um, that about covers it. Oh, I've got this overhead storage too that I had in here before just because I had to get stuff tucked away somewhere find a place for it so I put that in a while ago I overhead electric reel um, yeah it's really really nice having everything organized and looking good oh tile floor um, got this stuff on Amazon it's the interlocking tiles forget what brand it is. Uh, they sell it on Amazon. Um, comes in packs of uh, 27. I uh, forget how many packs I use. I just did half the garage to see how it was, how it would work out. Um, I think I would probably go with a medium gray color next time just because dirt shows on all the white and the black, but it looks really good when I clean it. it wipes up pretty well. So far so good. The stuff in the middle here is perforated. Uh, so water and um, dirt can go in there and I can just vacuum it out. It's pretty nice. Um, the old epoxy didn't hold up, so I didn't want to do that again. I was debating whether I should do that or uh, I was gonna gonna resand everything and start over again, but then I thought, yeah, let me check out these tiles and I would definitely go tiles again. I wouldn't do epoxy again. Uh, at least I wouldn't do it by myself have a company maybe come out but I really like the tiles so I'd probably go that route anyways again so there you have it there's my uh, garage tour and uh, remodel that I did a couple months ago